Hello. Hello, my dear students. How are you? I am Ms. Wissam. Uh, I hope that everything uh, is okay with you. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about what we have started to talk in the classroom. We started to talk about active and passive, the passive voice. Now, uh, we are going to continue with the passive voice. Now, this class is for both grade 10 and grade 9. A grade 10, we have some extra things we have to add them, inshallah, next class for you. Uh, first of all, let's have a, have a quick revision about what we uh, have talked about. Now, when I talk about active and passive, the first thing you have to do is to compare or to know how to compare between active and passive. Now, what is the difference between active sentence and uh, passive sentence? Now, look here. When I say a verb is said to be in the active voice, when the subject uh, does the action, what does that mean? Look at this example. I read a book every week. Now, if I ask you, where's the subject of this sentence? You will say, I. I read a book. Now, the object is a book and the verb is read. Now, here the subject is known and we have the subject before the verb. In this case, if we know the subject or we know the doer of the action, now we call the sentence the, act the active sentence. Now, the passive sentence when we look at the passive sentence the passive sentence we don't have or we we don't uh, yani we don't need to mention the subject itself why because we have or in the passive sentence when the sentence is passive the agent or the person who does the action you have three choices either is unknown or unimportant or obvious from the context now look at the first example here when I say the president was shot. Now it's not important for us to know who shot the president, but the most important information here is the action itself, that the president was shot. The second example here is an example about that the subject is obvious, we don't have to mention it. The criminal was arrested, but he, the criminal was arrested by whom? The criminal was arrested by the police. The second thing, when the action is more important than the agent, so we use the passive form, when the action is more important than the agent. Okay, L like, look at this example, 30 people were injured in the explosion. Now, the most important information here is the action itself, that they were injured, not by what or what, who uh, did the action, it's not important. To make more polite or formal statements, the car hasn't cleaned or hasn't been cleaned. The fourth use for the passive voice to put uh, emphasis on the agent, the new library will be opened by the president. Here we have to mention the uh, agent because it's important to mention it at the end of the sentence. So we have to focus on the, uh, the agent at the end of the sentence. Now the next uh, way or the next thing we have to talk about how do we recognize the passive sentence the the verb of the passive sentence is the most obvious thing that we can notice that this sentence is a passive sentence why because the form of the verb in the passive sentences we always we form the passive with the verb to be and the past participle of the main verb what does that mean here we have to be plus the past participle, and when we say past participle, that means verb three. Form of verb to be. Now, what is the meaning of verb to be? When, when I say we have to use verb to be, that means either to have, in the present we have am, is, are, in the past we have was or were, in the present participle we have being, and in the past participle we have been. So we have, or we must have one of these verbs uh, to be in the uh, form of the passive sentence. Now, the past participle, don't forget that we have three forms of the verb, either to have regular or irregular. Regular, we form it by adding uh, ed to the verb, ed, ied, or d, according to the end of the verb, or we have it irregular, we have to change it according to the verb, and you have to know how to change it like a break, we have broken. Okay, 
Now, the next thing we are going to talk about, or what is the most important thing we have to know about this lesson? The most important thing is to change the sentence itself from the active into passive. Now, to change the sentence from active into passive, we have to follow uh, the following steps. Now, look at this example. This example, and he will take this sentence as an example. Alan has drawn Mary several, uh, several times. Now, to change the sentence from active into passive, first of all, you have to recognize that this is an active sentence. Why? Because Alan uh, has done the action. Alan has drawn Mary several times. Now, first of all, what we have to do, look at the first step, make the object of the active verb the subject in the new sentence. What does that mean? If you look here, the subject is Alan and the object is Mary. So, first of all, put Mary at the beginning of the sentence, okay? But you have to know, you have to be careful. If the verb is a, is a pronoun, okay, make sure to change it into a subjective pronoun. Now, me will be I, him will be he, her will be she, them will be they, and us will be we. Alan has drawn her several times, so here if we don't have Mary, we don't we have her, her will be she, okay? The second step, or the, and the most important step here is we have to change the verb from the active verb to the passive verb, okay? But you have to remember that when we change the sentence from active into passive, we don't change the tense. What does that mean? That means if we have a present symbol sentence, it will stay present symbol. If we have past symbol, it will stay past symbol. But we will change the form of the verb. How do we change the form of the verb? Here is the changes of the form of the verb. If we have the present symbol sentence, am, is, or, uh, am, sorry, present symbol, and we know the present symbol as either verb one or verb plus s, e, s, i, e, s. When we change it to the passive form, we will change it into am, is, are, plus verb three. Now look at this example. Jim serves his car twice a year. So the first step is to put, Jim, uh, put Jim's car at the beginning, because here the object is his car. So Jim's car. Now the verb here serves. Serves is verb one. How do we change it? Now Jim's car with Jim's car car we have to use as Jim's car is served twice a year. In this case, we change the sentence from active into passive by using the uh, object at the beginning of the sentence and it change the form of the verb. Now let's have a quick uh, look for how do we change the verb. Now present continuous and the form of a present continuous is R M plus I N G. When we change it into passive, we will use also am, is, are, uh, plus being, plus verb three. As we said, we have to use verb to be plus verb three. Like the example, they are preparing the dinner now. So dinner is being prepared now. Okay? Now, the past symbol, the past symbol, how do we change it? The past symbol, when we have verb two, when we change verb two, we have to change it into was, were, and verb three. Jim served his car last week, so Jim's car was served last week. Okay, now the past continuous and the form of past continuous, we have was, were, or ing. When we change it into passive, it will be was, were, being, plus verb three. Now in the present symbol, we say we have am, is, are, with. Uh, being verb three in the past the continuous we will have was were being plus verb three dinner was being prepared <clears throat> now present perfect present perfect have has verb three to change it into passive we have has have been plus verb three and also if you notice here with the present perf perfect and past perfect we use been and been with present continuous past continuous we use being Okay, so present perfect has have been plus verb three. Past perfect, we had had been plus verb three. Now, they have already eaten the lunch. 
Lunch has already been eaten. Okay. Now uh, here we uh, use. Uh, you have to notice that in the active sentence we say they have. So don't don't use here have because we have have. No, you have to use have to has according to the object that you will move it to be as the subject of the passive sentence. So lunch has. Okay. Now, also, we have this example. They had cut with the past perfect. They had cut the trees. Trees had been cut. Now, the future form, we have two uh, forms for future. We have uh, will plus verb infinitive, and we use also be going to plus verb infinitive. When we change it into passive, we will say will be plus verb three, or is on are going to be plus verb three. Like this example, they will prepare the dinner soon. Dinner will be prepared soon. And they are going to prepare dinner at seven. Dinner is going to be prepared at seven. So with the modal verbs also, we, we use the same form of the future form. We use mo the same model in the sentence plus verb to be with verb three. So she should clean the dishes. The dishes should be cleaned. So if you notice from all of these example, examples that we have the same way to change the sentence from active into passive, the same way is to put the object at the beginning of the sentence, delete the subject from the beginning of the sentence, and change the form of the, the verb according to, uh, according to the tense that we have. We will go back to the exercises, but first of all, I have some notes to tell you about the, uh, the passive. Now, don't forget that when we have uh, uh, the, the, don't try the agent, it's not specified. So if you have the agent at the beginning of the sentence, for example, you have people, someone, somebody, it's preferable not to mention the subject if it's a pronoun. And you don't have to mention by at the end of the sentence. And add the rest of the sentence here, يعني, when we finish uh, uh, changing the sentence from active into passive, the most important uh, steps is to put the subject at the beginning, the object, and also to change the verb. After that, any extra things in the sentence, add them to the sentence like this. Mary has been drawn several times. After that, the subject that you have deleted from the beginning of the sentence, from the beginning of the active sentence, you can add it by using by. And in this case, we call it the agent. Now, is it important to add it? Now, this note is very important to read it, that if we have it as a pronoun, it's not important to mention at. Okay, now let's start to uh, apply or let's have some application uh, in these sentences about what we have said. Now, let's look at this sentence. The lawyer will give you some advice. Now, if we want to change it, we have to underline or we have to classify the sentence into subject, verb, object to be sure that we have subject, verb, object. Because if we don't have any one of them, we can't change the sentence into passive. The lawyer will give you some advice. Now, the subject is the lawyer. The verb is will get, and it's a future. You is the object. And here we have another object. We call it some, it's some advice. We will talk about it, inshallah, next class. Now, how do we change it into passive? Now, let's start with the first step. Now, we have to put you at the beginning of the sentence. When we use you at the beginning of the sentence, now here in this the sentence, you is an object. But when I change it, I will not say you. Either say I or he or she as you want. Now, if I say I, okay. Now, the, the second step is to... Uh, uh, to, to change the verb. Now the verb is will give. How do we change will give? Now will give, we change it, uh, uh, will plus be plus the verb three will be given. Now if you stop here, that's okay. Now complete the rest of the sentence. I will be given some advice. Sorry, some advice 
okay? By whom? By the lawyer. If you add it, it's okay. If you don't add it, also it's okay, okay? Now let's just try to do sec the second one by yourself and we will continue with you, inshallah.